Hey there, folks. My name is Terry. Oh, I should talk into the mic. Hey there, folks. My name is Terry Danich Kimiak II. I'm the digital painter. You're watching a digital painter vidcast, and we are looking at Art Rage 5 and its brush settings or brush designer. Settings within the brush designer. Whoop whoop. Alright, so we're back. I'm gonna I'm gonna move my there, that, that camera location is much better. We're back and here we are with uh, the brush designer. We're hitting our last part of the brush designer. Again, this is these are these custom brushes that you can make in Art Rage 5 that you hadn't been able to in the past. Very excited about it. So here we are. We're gonna be looking at these color settings. And it's actually really kind of nifty. I'm gonna change my color real quick for our testing purposes. Oops, let's go ahead over here. Take my dab spacing down, that works. Dab opacity, there we go. That'll work for our testing purposes. And you'll see here, we have some things going on. You've got the ability to pick up color, blend modes, and then some more stuff dealing with color pickup. So we're gonna start with our blend modes, right? So as you're creating brushes, your brushes can have their own blend mode, just like in layers. So for example, right now, we're just doing regular normal blend mode, okay? But you can actually switch to something like, um, let's, do, let's do one of my favorites, screen. <gasps> Look at that. It's crazy checkerboard pattern fun. Okay, so where it overlaps, it's going to screen. And then, you know, say you grab a different color, you're gonna get more screeny fun times. That's technical terms, okay? Uh, there's a watercolor setting, right? So let's, uh, I'm not sure the watercolor setting's gonna do as much as I want it to do. A little bit. It creates a, an edge, see the hard edge? along the outside where it overlaps. That's okay, meh, meh. You've got your multiply setting. This is kind of like markers, right? If you're dealing with markers, just keep adding. Now you can do this obviously with opacity as well, but, uh, and then of course you could, so you could come in here, right? And let's change our color. Ooh, let's let's do some complimentary or not complimentary. That's a terrible idea. Let's do red. Work it's darker there, and then we'll change it to blue, and we'll create a very dark purple. Purple, purple. Okay. So let's multiply, uh, and you can use any of these. You know, you can play with them. Uh, soft light's always fun. Kind of lightens it up a little bit all right but that's not the exciting part about the brush designer it's this one right here it's pickup color so we're going to take this back to normal and we're going to click the pickup color what does pickup color do <laughs> well it lets you pick up the color i know it's deep so let's lay down some blue some beautiful blue there but then let's pick a separate color like say red <gasps> did you see how it picked up the color look at that look at that right there It's picking it up like real paint. I know it's crazy. Now what you have here is you have the ability the ability to adjust your color pickup and adjust your color refresh. So for example, we're gonna lay down some strokes of red and then we're gonna grab our blue again. So if we take our color pickup to zero, it doesn't pick up at all. If we take it up to 100%, it switches right over to red as soon as we touch. So where you adjust it, so, so let's do 75% here. It switches pretty quick to red, and then if we go to 25%, stays blue longer, okay? Starts to go back into this purple, and then back into the red, okay? And then if you go as low as like, let's go, let's go down to like 3%, right? It's gonna take a lot of red for the pickup to actually start to change, see that? I had to do a lot of stuff just to get it. But it does, it starts to change, okay? So that's your color pickup. And then of course you've got your color refresh. So again, let's let's lay down, let's just lay down a blue and then switch over to red. So color refresh here at 0%. Meaning I'm not getting, oops. Oy, let's lay that red down, oops. Let's lay that red down and click this button. So what's happening here 
if at color refresh is zero, it's there's literally no paint on it until I touch and it actually picks up the red. All right. So if we take color refresh to 100, we're in blue and we go see how long it took in here see see how we stayed blue for a long time so it's not refreshing so let's go 50% right so see here where it stayed blue much longer as I went Let, let's clear this I'm gonna do a thinner line so that we get a little better idea I'm gonna take my maximum size down and I'm gonna come over here now, again, color pickup is affecting this as well. So there's a lot going into this. It's not just one thing. So that's uh, color refresh at 50. Color refresh at 100. And color refresh at 0. And just to do something kind of like 25-ish. OK. So you can see. They're slightly different. Now, if I change my color pickup, right? So we'll lay down the red again. Now I'll jump back into the blue. <laughs> color picked up into red, and you can see it's starting. Let's, so let's do this again. It starts to go back. Let's do color. It's refreshing back to red, as long as I don't go back over a spot. You see that? So we're sl slowly, color refresh at 100%, slowly but surely going back to red. If we, though, let's, let's take this and take color refresh to like 3%. See how it's not even, I mean, there's a slight change from here to here, but it's taking much longer to refresh. Uh, so again, let's lay down the blue and then switch into red again. And you can see this. We'll go back up to 100%. There's the red coming back. You can see it there. You can see it. OK. And that's with a 79% color pickup. If we then take, let's take our color pickup down to like 50%. You ready? Wow. Color refresh went back quick because we didn't get a lot of the color in here. If we took that color refresh down to like 5%, see, it's not refreshing back to the blue as quickly, is it? Or at all, okay? So that's your color refresh, and it's going to work with your color pickup to figure out exactly what it's going to do, okay? So there, these things are not mutually exclusive. They have to work together to create this fabulous color mesh of awesomeness. All right, we have checked out all three of our tabs up here in Brush Designer. We are not done yet, though, because uh, I'm going to cancel out of this because we're going to deal with set stylus, set stylus properties uh, and stylus control center in our next video. All right. My name is Terry Danich, Kimiak the Second. If you're watching YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you uh, like what I do, uh, check out www.thedigitalpainter.com to see lots more of my stuff. Take care. Oh, and keep drawing.